In the next segment here, we're going to show you how to do what's known as a stab. Uh, we're going to take some bacteria off a plate that has been uh, incubating in the incubator overnight, has some uh, colonies growing on it. You may not be able to see them in the video, but you'll be able to see those in the lab. And we're going to transfer them using an inoculating needle instead of a loop this time into a tube of nutrient agar, which is known as a stab. And as you can see by tipping this, it is not a liquid media, but a solid media. Uh, this will allow us to get bacteria down below the surface where if they were anaerobic uh, or if they can digest the media, if it's nutrient gel, and we'll be able to see that. Again, first thing I need to do is put a label on this tube with the four pieces of information. Again, here, if you label close to the surface, it's going to make it difficult to see when you're stabbing in. Um, and if you're down here, you may not be able to see what's happening in the tube. So on a stab, it's actually not a bad idea to put it above the surface. Oops. Above the surface where you will be able to um, still see what's going on. You really never want to put them on the lids, however, because it's very easy for the lids to be transferred from one tube to another, and then you could lose track of what's in your uh, culture. So, so there's my stab, properly labeled. Sterilizing the needle, very much like sterilizing the loop, into the flame, and drawing it out slowly to get it to sterilize. So I'm going to put it in the flame here. This may not get red hot, but uh, depending on on how thick these needles are. And the end, really hot and red, that will cool off. And I'm going to try to get in this uh, an isolated colony if possible, since those would all be clones of one bug. Uh, it may not always be possible if you know you have a one pure culture on here, scraping up some from an area on the plate uh, will work. So again, the plate's inverted. I'm going to flip it tip it gently just uh, just enough to get inside there and get some of the colony up and then close it flip it back and then put it into the tube so I'm gonna flip tip it I'm gonna cool the needle off on the side here grab a little bit of this colony flip that back take my tube again making sure to flame open and flame closed flame open and now I'm just going to go straight down into the gel and pull it straight out flame closed, sterilize my instrument, and we're done. In this segment of the video, we're going to show you how to take a liquid culture and do what's uh, known as a plate of the liquid culture, where we take a measured amount of the bacteria growing in this culture tube. In this case, I'm going to take 100 microliters and spread the entire 100 microliters onto a plate, which is frequently done in plate counts, which you'll see in the lab. I've already labeled my plate uh, with the bacteria that's on there, the media, my initials, the date, and in this case, because I'm going to do a, a one-tenth dilution, it's labeled 10 to the minus first. Uh, to transfer the liquid, we're going to be using a micro pipetter and sterile pipette tips. We'll show you how to use the pipetters in the lab since it's difficult to garn uh, show on a video with the exact uh, stops on these. It is important, like with the tubes, that you try to make these have all been sterilized, these tips, so we really want to leave the box open as little amount of time as possible. Um, and there is a correct uh, technique and sort of sequence of events. I'm also going to show you the way we're going to spread it is using another piece of, uh, and an, this is a spreader uh, that can be made out of aluminum or, in this, or glass, and we use this to spread the cells around on the surface of the, of the uh, plate. And we will use alcohol to sterilize this instead of running it through the flame. Okay, so we'll show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to need to do is draw up, aseptically remove 100 microliters of cells from this tube using the micropipetter. So, I'm going to get my, important to get your area set up so that you have things uh, in the right place before you get started, otherwise you start reaching across and it becomes dangerous. Uh, so, again, using the, my, I'm right-handed and I'm going to use my left hand to hold the tube and open the flame, uh, the, the tube likewise with my pinky as I've in the past. First thing I need to do is get a pipette tip on first. I have my pipetter dialed up. I put a pipette tip on, close this. Now I'm prepared to open the tube. I'm going to flame open and flame close as we have in the past. Again, using my pinky finger, I'm going to hold the lid, pull the tube, and I will go in and aseptically draw up 100 microliters. Flame closed. Now I can set this down. I'm done. Now what I'm going to do is flip the plate right side up. I'll put the 100 microliters right smack in the middle, get rid of the tip into the biohazard box, and then show you how to spread it around. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip carefully, tip, 
get the 100 microliters on. I'll close that for now, and then I will get rid of the tip and set this down. Now, I need to sterilize this. If I heat sterilize this, and the flame will be way too hot and would kill all the bugs. So what I do is we dip it into the alcohol, carefully pass it through the flame, not holding it in the flame, and the alcohol will ignite. Be careful at this point because it can be dripping and on, on fire, so you want to make sure that you're careful. That will sterilize this without getting it too, too hot. Again, I didn't hold it in the flame, I just passed it through the flame to ignite the alcohol, making sure not to drip over the beaker of alcohol and set it on fire. Now what I'm going to do is tip this lid again as little as possible. Hold, notice the way I'm holding the spreader this way, not this way. And I will put it here and back and forth and you can carefully turn the plate a little bit and spread it around, put the lid back on. It's important now though that before we don't want to flip this immediately until the, the liquid has had a chance to soak in, otherwise it'll form a bead on the bottom and, and be a mess. So we'll set that aside for a minute or so before we flip it. This, however, is still contaminated, so we need to make sure we don't set this down on the desk. The easiest way to sterilize it is just to stick it in the beaker of alcohol and again, pass it in the flame, let it ignite, burn off the alcohol, and then it will be sterile and safe to set down on the desk and not risk contaminating anything else. After a minute or so, with this plate is safe, once it's soaked in, I can flip this over and put it in the incubator until the next day.